When someone first plays Soldier, they immediately understand what the class is capable of, at least more or less. But to truly understand how high Soldier skill limit is, we need to spend about 40 minutes creating a slideshow explaining every single detail. Which I'm not really wanting to do. And I don't think you would want me to do that either. Even if you are new to Team Fortress 2, if you see a high level player play Soldier, your brain basically goes... What? Now that you understand Soldier's abilities, let's move on to how Soldier acquires his powers. Unlike other first person shooters such as Counter-Strike, in TF2, your movement is just as important as your aim. This is extremely true for Soldier. But before we even begin to get into all of that, I'm gonna say, if your mindset is, I'm good enough, I don't need to learn how to rocket jump to be good, you'll never go anywhere, sorry. In the beginning of a player's career, for competitively playing this game, that statement alone is gonna make you feel like you're racing a car with your shoes tied. Seriously, it's very important to not have this mindset. This is not a jump tutorial video. If you want a jump tutorial video, click here. This video is more for giving you the tools to, for success. Have you ever looked at a player and thought, how does he do that? How does he jump with so naturally? I can't even begin to do any of that. That begins for most players in jump schools. One thing I did when I first started playing Soldier is I went on Jump Beef, known as the easiest jump map. And after I beat it, you know, sometimes whatever skill you're at, it takes a while. Sometimes it could take like, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. But once you finish the map for the first time, you already know that you can do it. You can take that one step further by doing it again and again and again until you can do it really quickly. This is not always true for high level jump maps because it can be very very hard but for jump beef what i did was i kept doing it until i can beat it under three minutes i encourage you to do the same because it really helped me out i strongly encourage you to go into higher level jump maps but i'm not going to cover that in this video now we move on to aim now you may be asking yourself how am i supposed to hit all these shots that all these players are doing in frag movies well the answer is actually really simple practice it's a scary word, but you actually have to practice in this video game. Now, if you are new to TF2, you might not know what that means, so I'm, I'm gonna help you with that. What I did personally, which I highly recommend for newer players, if you can't even hit a shot, like an air shot specifically, well, any player should go on bot maps. But what I took away from that is when you air shot someone on Tierra walkway or Tierra rocket shooting you start to get a muscle memory it takes a while to form but it's there and after a while of getting used to air shotting with your mouse experiment with different mouse movements such as once you launch them into the air look away and then look back onto them again this will help in your fights when your opponent makes sudden movements after a while of getting used to hitting your rockets you can move on to where most players go, and that is MGE. MGE is a 1v1 game mode made for you to get better at the game by using 1v1 fast paced situations. Not gonna lie, you're probably not gonna find anyone on the same level when you're in an MGE server, at least in the very beginning. So what I would recommend, and it's also what I've done, is I messaged my friends to ask them to MGE me, because usually your people that you know, your friends, Probably about the same skill level as you. This will help you improve instead of just getting crushed over and over again. After a while of mge and you actually uh, grow quite a bit, you should be able to take on random players. But don't get discouraged though, there's always going to be someone better than you. But instead of being like, oh this guy's so much better than me, I feel so bad now. What you should take away from that player's skill is, whoa, it's possible to be that good. I want to be just like them. And that pretty much sums up the video. This tutorial has taught you the guidelines on how to get good at Soldier. Later on I might make a video on, on specific tips on Soldiers. I hope you learned something from the video and I'll see you later.